Welcome to the video lesson tutorial on Favorite Web Resources for Ms. Harrison's 10th Grade Literature Composition Research Project. To get started, you'll go to the tab of our research guide that says Recommended Resources from the Web, and once you have had an opportunity to view the CRAP test video on evaluating information in all formats and sources, you may then want to begin exploring Google News, Sweet Search for Students, Google Books, or surveys from the Pew Research Center. We're going to give you a quick tour of each of these resources. Let's begin with Google News. Google News is a great resource for finding the latest news stories on your topic. This is a special sub-search engine of Google. Let's type in our search term, and again, the more specific that you can be, then the better results that you will get. So let's say I'm doing social media and student privacy. Then I can go through and begin to explore the results. You can browse the list of results, or if you see there's something that says explore in depth, then this means that there might be some articles with a little more heft to them, so to speak, a little more um, substance. So you can either explore those, or again, you can continue going through and take a look at those articles. So here's something that might be of interest to me. And when you see something that you like, you just click on the hyperlink, and then you can read the article. If you decide that you want to use that article, then you'll want to go back to our EasyBib tab, and you'll want to watch the video on citing a website or a web-based resource with EasyBib. Unfortunately, these web resources do not have the ability to um, be automatically exported at this time, so you will have to use the web citing wizard that's built into EasyBib, and this video will assist you with that. So that's a quick look at Google News. It is a fantastic resource for current events. The next tool you might want to use is Sweet Search for Students. This is kind of like Google for Students, but the results are vetted or filtered by teachers and librarians, so you can have a greater degree of confidence in the types of websites that you'll get through this search engine. So again, let's say I'm doing social media and student privacy, and you'll just click on Go, and then you can take a look at the results that are available for that. Depending on your search topic, um, you may get a lot of results. You may not get very many at all. If you see a link that looks of interest to you, then you can click on that and then read the article. Most of the results that you'll see fall into one of two categories. Some results will be from the open web, just like what we saw through Google News. Other results may be published by the owners of Sweet Search, Finding Dulcinea, and they publish their own educational articles, so you may want to use some of those. Again, you can use the web source citation wizard built into EasyBib to help you cite this resource. This will be true of all of the results that you get through Sweet Search. Another possible Google resource is Google Books. These are books that have been partially digitized to a particular extent and that you have access to um, a limited preview of the book. Even if you can only see a chapter or two, you never know when that chapter that's available might be the very thing to help you with your project. Type in your search terms in the search box that we've created for you, and when you click on search, it will take you to all the results for Google Books. If you see the word preview, then that means that there is at least a partial preview available for you to see. So if you see something that looks like it's of interest to you, and then you can click on the link, and then you can use the table of contents to uh, navigate that book. You can also search the book directly here for your search terms. So if you wanted to see where is social student privacy appearing in the book, here's a whole chapter about student privacy online, then you can use that and then you can know where to scroll to if you have access to that page. You can also use the arrows to flip through the book, and again, just keep in mind that we don't have the ability to print this book. 
or to download any section of it, but you can read parts of it online. Some of these books will have um, a great bit of the book available for preview. Other times it's very limited, um, but this might be a resource that's helpful for you. If you do find a book in Google Books and you want to use it, we have a video tutorial on exporting a citation for Google Books into EasyBib. There are a couple of extra steps, but it is very doable. Last but not least is our link to the Pew Research Center and all of their studies that they have been doing over the last few years on social media. You can get to this link by clicking on the URL beneath the screenshot, and this will take you to the home page of featured publications of surveys that have been conducted. As you can see, many of them are very recent. You can go through and scroll the list that's available here. So if you see something that looks like it's of interest to you, then you can click on it. And again, you have a nice printer-friendly version. You can email it. And lots of good data that you can go through and read. And again, use the numbers at the bottom to fully navigate the entire article. Or you can also download the article as a PDF. Again, if you would like to cite something, then you can use the EasyBib website citation wizard to do that task. One other search feature of note from the main page. Again, you could go through and scroll all of the different results. And again, use your numbers or the next page to navigate those results that are already populated for you. Or you can also go through and explore related topics if any of these are a better fit for you. We hope that these web-based resources will be a great addition to the research that you have been collecting in the research databases. Um, that we've put together for you in Mac and Via. If you have any questions or need assistance, please let Ms. Hamilton, your media specialist, or Ms. Harrison, your classroom teacher, know. Thank you for your time and attention.